I'm Mitch Pfeiffer. You might know me as Empire. You might know me as P. Or you might just know me as that skinny white dude in the back doing nothing. Um, I'm a music producer, uh, aspiring entrepreneur from Ellensburg, Washington. Um, I grew up kind of skateboarding and into that culture and finally found my way into hip hop. Just kind of hanging around the skate park and some older heads. I was, I was always into hip hop, but uh, a couple guys at the skate park kind of introduced me to DJing and recording music and that's kind of where my, my passion started. Um, I started doing beats through music programs and just kind of recording stupid freestyles at home. Um, freestyle on the bus and stupid stuff like that. Um, started to get serious and I got Fruity Loops like probably everyone and their mother. Um, I had that stuff for like a month and then my first job I started washing dishes 40 hours a week when I was like 15 or 16 just so I could buy an NPC. Man, I washed dishes for like three months straight. That was the worst thing I ever did in my entire life. Just so I could chop up samples and bang on some pads, man. But that shit was worth it. So as the years went on, I got a little more serious in the music. Uh, spent a lot of time in recording studios, working on projects um, with friends of mine and just artists uh, buying beats and you know sitting around engineers and kind of picked up engineering a little bit. Um, started doing shows and doing DJing a little bit, so I've kind of dipped my hands everywhere and worn a lot of different hats. Um, eventually started a clothing line and that kind of spawned off of doing hip hop shows and hosting hip hop events and being a part of hip hop events. So I kind of got my hands in events and DJing and hosting and all that stuff. And you know, through everything I've done, I've always found my, my main love is just being a producer and making something out of nothing. So my first influences are probably like Pete Rock, uh, DJ Premier, and kind of the East Coast sound. Definitely growing up, you know, in the Northwest, just a fan of Dr. Dre and like West Coast music. You know, I'd say Tupac. I like Tupac, but not as much as like everyone rides for it. I just always kind of gravitated to the East Coast sound. Uh, Biggie, Mob, um, Gangstar, kind of any, I don't know, anything East Coast, underground, everything East Coast has always gravitated. You know, Nas, AZ is like a big, always been a, one of my favorite rappers from very young age to still now. Um, I just always loved the East Coast beats and the way that kind of soul blended. The West Coast was kind of built on like funk, which is cool and a fun party vibe, but just I'm not a big funk fan. I'm much more of a smooth, chilled out jazz and soul. What I hope to do with this company and this collective is just kind of uh, further pursue my passions and, and take it to the next level. Um, strategize all the thoughts that I've had and, and uh, you know, now it's like the right elements and the right team members are in place. It's really like strategize and, and, and further, further the knowledge and the skills, you know, keep learning and really try and monetize all the moves that I make. Um, and, you know, at the end of the day, enjoy it. the people I work with and continue to just collaborate with tons of individuals and just enjoy networking and doing what I love, man.